Oh yeah, okay. Something to be sold from the brand new vault at the layman's reserve bank. <laughs> oh my god, okay, layman's, that's a horrible name for it to have, Jesus Christ. Can, can't get it back. Now to be fair, it probably is that maybe it doesn't mean the same thing it means in US Eng in USA English than British English, I don't know. Oh, we're already here. Oh, I forgot. I, <laughs> I forgot to was dress as a as late professor later. I forgot that. This is definitely the place Inspector Hastings asked us to meet him, Ernest. Yes, miss. In front of Layman's Reserve Bank, you said. <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna have a tough time not laughing at the name for a while. Well, it doesn't appear to be open yet. I wonder what the inspector wants. Maybe it's some problem at the bank. I don't trust banks. Apart from Barclays, it's on the name. Well, he didn't mention anything like that. He just telephoned the agency and asked us to meet him the here. That was all. He's always doing this. The man never gets to the point. Well, anyway, it's a pretty impressive building, isn't it? Yes, it's amazing to think that just 10 years ago, no one had even heard of the Lehman's Reserve Bank. Well, this building doesn't look new. I expect the bank, bank bought it from somebody else, that's why. It's very important for a bank to portray the right image, you see, sure. It's in, in, in its name, its logo, and its office buildings. Yeah. But calling a uh, bank Lehman. Yeah, that does not bring the best, you know, idea or portrayal of yourself. Park is just as a, just as a kennel as a slow. I like it. Oh, there's Insp Inspector Hastings now, coming out from inside the bank. Yes, and he looks troubled. I, s I smell a case in the making. I wonder what's going to be. Ah, there you are, Ken. Thanks for coming. Good morning, Inspector. You have a new case for me, I take it? Spot on. In fact... Sorry. In fact, you were asked for personally. You mean somebody else asked me for, for me to investigate? Not you. Spot on again. Your little agency is getting quite a name for itself now. I said I'd get in touch with you on the gentleman's behalf. I felt, I felt quite pleased with myself as it happens. Well, I'm glad the agency is becoming more widely known, but I'm not sure what this has to do with you, Inspector. Well, I'm not the one who cottoned... Oh, cottoned. Again, I don't know what that expression is supposed to mean. Don't you agree puzzle puzzle solving skills, aren't I? Takes a keen eye to spot a good investigator, Cat. He knows how to blow his own trumpet. Explains the big news. <laughs> Well, it's really good news that the agency is getting the recognition it deserves, don't you think? Ugh. I'm tired. As Mario would say, I'm a tired. It's a tribute to your wonderful detective skills, Miss Layton. Blimey, listen to me guessing. Come on, we better get it. Go in. The gentleman in question specifically requests us we keep this investigation. Hush, hush. Okay, so I know it's supposed to be hush, hush, but without the H, it looks like it does not remind you of being hush, hush. Yeah. Mom's the world, all right? Yes, Mom. Well, let's go in so we can find out what it's all about, man. But first, uh... yep. Uh... You guys can read that by pausing, because I just want to just give up on reading all this. Usually at trees as well. Oh wait, is that this sir? This part of the door. Oh, he's Inspector is here as well. Good to know. Wait. Ah, okay. Because I know I heard something. Coney Collar. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, it's probably him. Okay. Wait. 
I'm not sure that's supposed to be the light or... Wait, I think I saw something. No, my mind's playing tricks on my eyes anyway. But mind you, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be another one here. I'm just... Oh, wait. Never mind, just found it. Now let's see what you guys have to say. The silent doll says it's cold, but I saw a woman inside before. Disc. In other words, it's closed. Open bracket. Unless you like you and want you to let you in, close, bra close bracket. Hmm. Thanks. You know, she could also be an employee for all you know. Shady. <laughs> is it a private joke or is it something you can share? Ah! You, you scared me. Anyway, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I want to say this guy is the one who did it. I don't know what happened, but it is. But his name is really shady, and he was laughing maniac or not maniac, maniacally laughing, but he was having the whole <laughs> shat laugh that he, you know, you shady people do. I'm not worried, but I am sort of curious. Ah, Mr. Tore! I don't know you banked here. Oh, hello, Miss Layton. I don't know where I am at. I am, to be honest. <laughs> Miles set me this puzzle and I just can't solve it. Really? Mr. Actor sets puzzles? Sometimes, yes. You couldn't help me, help me solve it, could you? Here, let me show it to you. The money of color. Is it normally the other way around with the color of money or something like that? There is a wall with 12 sections. <sighs> Ugh. I don't know why I'm so sleepy. I was fine until I started recording, because of course. The, uh, there's a wall with 12 sections that need to be painted. Just like the one in the picture. Red around the outside edge on the left, blue around the outside of the right, and purple in the center. A pot of paint for one section costs 10 pounds. For red, 10 pounds for blue, and 30 for purple. Are you kidding? Why is purple so expensive? How much is a paint going to cost? Try to figure out the minimum possible price. Uh, wait, 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 I just realized something. You probably don't need to actually get the purple one, because red and blue give you purple, right? Uh, so, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it'd be 100. 120, 140. That is a number I am going with, really. Uh... Many, many unbearable moments later. Before I do that, I just rem remember something. I am bad at math. So let me recheck my calculations real quick, guys. Uh... A lot of boring math later. I just realized something. Because, again, this game really likes messing with your head and making... You know, answers that are rarely mathematically accurate, but... Because here's the thing. I'm thinking, what if the volume of each can also counts? Like, for what I mean by that. For example, one can yeah, paints one of these, right? Okay. So if I needed to get a can of red and a can of blue, to I would mix them both. So what would I technically make it so that I would have... Two? The equivalent of two cans of purple instead of one? So instead of me 140, maybe it would be 120. Because here's the thing. I'm trying to use the logic of the game against it at this point. I've seen how to solve this now. Puzzles are made for solving. I got it right. And yeah, at this point I just pretty much gave up on the whole big red total score there. You did it, 6 red pots and 6 blue pots give a total of 120 pounds. Mixing 1 pot of red paint with 1 pot of blue paint gives 2... Yep, as I thought, it was supposed... Yep. It also counted the volume. Take care of the quantities right when you're mixing them. There, that's how it's done. Is that a help, Mr. Tor? I am legitimately curious. How the hell do you people know when you solve the puzzle and you haven't? 
Because from what I understand, there isn't like a way to, you know, like an answer behind the puzzle or something like that. So how would you guys know? And even if, if you did know, and if you did like figure out a question, how the hell would you know that it's correct? I'm curious about that. Brilliant! You made that look so easy. I suppose you attack us a prime prime for puzzle solving. I'll bear it in mind next time I'm stuck. Okay, I think that's all. Let's go in. Gosh, it feels as certain here without any customers, doesn't it? Oh, there's a woman over there though, look. Yeah, she's not a customer. That's a general manager of the bank. The general manager? She's very important then. You said it, Sunshine. The Himalayans Reserve Bank has branches all over the country. Each one has a branch manager, and that lady there is a the manager of all of those managers. The gentleman who asked for this investigation says she filled us in on the detail, on all the details. Alright then, let's get filled in. Oh my god, she looks so stuck up. Oh dear, more puzzles. A pen on every desk? People visiting the bank can use these desks to write on, on if they need to. Mucky pups. They should write on paper, not on, not on, not, not a desk. Oh look, there's a puzzle within the pen on this one. Wait, what the? Oh, with the pen, okay. I thought it was within the pen, what? Pencil box. Oh, it's gonna be one of those, isn't it? In this picture, a square is called if in if it has lines drawn around it. Can you make it so that the four or more squares are colored in? If you select a pencil, the pencil will disappear and the line will appear in its place. The line is drawn in the direction the pencil is facing. Select the pencils in order to draw the necessary lines. You can also delete, delete lines by selecting them. Wait, what? Uh, wait. So, ah, huh? Okay, I'm confused. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! wait. I, get, I get it. It's say it it, this one can't go in because yeah. So if I go, yeah, this one doesn't go because. It was wrong from here to here. Okay, I get it, I get it. So she needs four more squares colored in, right? So couldn't go... Or not. Okay, so we don't start with the edges. Good to know. Wait, why did it go back? I don't get it. I'm confused. Let me just go back all the way. Uh, give me a second for me to figure this one out, because this one's confusing me. Eventually. Okay, I'm starting to think here. What if the idea is for you to actually draw more than one square at a time? Because I'm tired, because here, I think I see a path. Here, here, here. Go all the way like this, right? Let me try it. Why do you keep going back there? Why? I'm... Yeah, look at... Yeah, yeah, And then we get on this one here, which is, you know... I think that is... Why? There. Oh, okay, so that's I what it was. like this for breakfast. They do call me Sherlock Holmes for nothing. You did it, the box of all these squares nicely, but the whole lot ended up being colored in the... So what was the point of the puzzle? 
That was jolly spiffing, Shrew. You've obviously been taking notes from Miss Layton. Well, you know, Pinstripes. I might have lost my memory, but I haven't lost my mind. Ah, that's... Oh, more stuff here. Undercover Umbrella. I mean, ma makes sense, I suppose. Oh. Oh, nice! What the... Nice! Okay, so they're all, all here, everyone I think was in line then. Yeah, I think there is only her to talk here, so let's go. Hello, I understand that you're the general manager of the bank. That's right, love. And who are you? Come in here with your dirty dog. You are, we are not open to the public yet. I'm sorry? Gosh, have you done something to offend? No, sorry, madame. She's not a member of the public. This is a detective who will be investigating the case for you. Detective? This little girl? I sure she's up to the task. This is a very complicated case, you know. I do understand, madame. But I assure you, Miss Layton here is highly accomplished in her field. Well, let's hope so, because I demand perfection. In his lip pops, and I'll have to ask you to drop it. Okay, so yep, I was right. She's really incredibly stuck up. Good to know. Please rest assured, I'll solve the case for you perfectly. Of course, I'll need you to give me as many details as you can first. Would that be all right? Hmm. Yes, I suppose so. Miss Layton, wasn't it? Yes, Catriel Layton of the Layton Detective Agency. And my assistant here is Ernest Greaves. Oh, so Ernest is finally an assistant now, good to know. Hello, I'm Bianca Teller. I want to say there's a pun in there somewhere, but I can't quite figure it out. As you already know, Miss Layton, I'm the general manager of the Layman's Reserve Bank. Oh, please call me Catriel. No, I'd rather not. First names can be a source of confusion. Using people's full name is a perfect solution. This Susk is a real bar of laughs, isn't she? Uh, well then, perhaps you could explain exactly what the problem is. It's a sensitive matter, to be true with a complete discretion. Or discretion. Do you understand? Your secrets are safe with me. As safe as this bank's vault. You are being, are you being sarcastic? No, I, I wasn't meaning to be. Is there some problem with the bank's vault then? Yes, I pride myself on my perfect security measures here, but we've been the victims of a grand larceny. I say, someone robbed the bank? How much was taken? 100 million sterling? Sterling in notes. Like sterling. Hmm, I see. 100 million. Wait. One hundred million? <laughs> yeah, that's the proper reaction. K six an unexpected windfall. Did you just say one hundred million, Cheryl? I I don't think I can I can ever do correctly. How much is one hundred million? How many bags of dog biscuits could that buy? That would buy, that would buy all the dog, dog biscuit manufacturers in the world, Cheryl. Really? I, I don't think you could eat, eat all of them. Are you talking to your dog? You do realize the gravity of this case, don't you? You could undermine the whole bank. Trust me to get a lumber... Trust me to get a lumber with a detective who talks to her dog. I asked for her specially, Bianca. Oh, Mr. Sal Sloens. I, I wasn't expecting you, sir. Weren't you? It's my bank that's been robbed, ain't it? Don't want the boss breathing down your neck, is that it? No, no, of course not, sir. Hmm. Well, you clearly aren't taken with my chest detective, that's for sure and certain. 
Oh no, sir. I'm sure you've chosen perfectly. I'll co cooperate with Miss Lacey in any way I can. Yeah, get the boss in and the lower ups just start kissing his foot. Glad to hear, lass. Because she'll be handling this investigation alongside a good gentleman from Scotland Yard. Oh yes, of course, sir. I'm, I'm sure to get to the bottom of it. Where is Bruce? That's Shady when she when he walks in here. Where has someone been licking him? <laughs> well, at least it means she'll stop treating Miss Layton like a schoolgirl. Okay, yeah, this actually reminds me. When the Perfetti, uh, I keep forgetting her first name. When Perfetti ended up uh, saying that she was stuck with cat that was a schoolgirl, I was curious about her age, and then I checked, and apparently she's supposed to be 21. Why are they calling her a schoolgirl? So if you'll excuse me, Miss Layton, now that Mr. Slow Sloans is here, I must be getting on. Oh, sorry, I hope you haven't kept you. It's just that a branch manager had to be taken to the hospital, you see. Gosh, people sustain injuries in the incident? Oh, the doctor says it's not so serious. But he hasn't regained consciousness yet. So I'm having to fill in for him at the moment. I see. Well, you're obviously very busy. Excuse me then, sir. Sorry, excuse me then, sir. I'll get on. So, we haven't probably been introduced yet, have we? I'm Grant Sloans, owner of this bank. I have a few business, actually. This is just one of them. It, it were Madame Dublé who told me about you. So when I spoke to Inspector Hastings, I made sure he understood I wanted you on the case. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Sloans. I'll do my I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. He certainly looks a pair, doesn't he? He's a giant. He really packs a punch. He'll punch you if he hear he'll punch you if he hears you, pinstripes. Eh, what's that, lad? Oh um, no, I mean nothing. <laughs> I believe I've seen you before, Mr. Zolans, at the premiere of the No Sub for Love, wasn't it? At the Save Loy. Oh yes, that's right. You saw that one as well, if I'm not mistaken. Does it mean you're one of one of the so-called Seven Dragons? <laughs> well, it's all I, not a title I've really chosen for myself, but yes, people do call me that. Anyway, enough chat. Let's get down to business. Yes, of course. Miss Sun informed us that you had a break in. That's an understatement. 100 million, million quid is hardly a break-in. Anyway, break-in, burglary, grand larceny, whatever you want to call it, it needs sorting, and fast. So first things first. Let's show our young detective here the vault where the money was, Inspector. Right you are, Mr. Zolans. I've already got the lads from the yard investigating down there. It's in the basement, of course. I'll explain more once we're down there. I suppose it makes sense to put a bank in the basement, but it also makes it somewhat... I won't say easy to steal, but more difficult to notice if, you can, if someone does steal it. And by that I mean that people can technically, you know, break in at late hours when no one is here, slowly chip at the wall, even if it is a metal wall, you can't technically chip at it, even very slowly, until you finally get an opening, Get as much as you want, close the wall, and disappear somewhere else. 